back. Uh, I didn't get to fish along the other day because I had a truck broke down. So I went ahead and I went home. I got that handled. I'm back out here today. Today is Saturday the 30th, I think, of April. Uh, the water's 57 and a half degrees. And I'm doing something a little different today. I just dropping my line straight down, suspended drifting. And I'm finding fish on the sonar and dragging my bait through them and driving around to see if we can do any good with them. So stay tuned. Been out here about five minutes. Today I'm also going to do something a little different. I'm just going to let the camera run. And uh, I'll have to edit the footage. Be a, hopefully, hopefully they'll bite like they did the other day. I think I got something on this one right here right now swimming around behind the boat. That didn't take long. That could be a good sign. Something's there. Little. Something's there. Those little guys are gonna bite. I might have should have got some more bait. Use a cut shad for bait. Shad head. Showing fish on the graph, so we'll just hang out a second, drive around through them, see if they wanted something to eat. That one did. It's a good thing. There's a brush pile right up here. I'm gonna try to uh, get just up river from it, and fish it, see if I can pull some fish out of it. All right, I'm sitting above my brush pile rock pile I guess this one is but I just got my line set two three of them set and I've already got a bite so, this might work out I'm just gonna let the camera roll so I never got one single takedown the other day when we were fishing but we as in me and you people
thought I was further above them than that. But I guess not. Just let him sit there for a minute. I'll get a couple more rods ready anyway. Maybe he'll get loose while I'm working on it. Got me out of the rocks. He may be a pretty good fish too. fish about the same size as one caught the other day about 25 pounds probably now I love you buddy you go become the big old monster we know you can do be good bud <laughs> Stay tuned. I don't know if the camera's picking that rod up or not. sitting up river from that rock pile. That rock pile's holding fish. These two out here haven't had a bite. This one's pretty close to up river from the rock pile. That one's nowhere close. Come on. He's hooked and he feels pretty decent. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. This is going to be a good day.
I'd have a double going on here. Okay, this one. He's not a giant. He's about probably 12 or 13 pounds. I'm going to put him in right here. And I'm going to handle this one. I think Justin Johnson would call that one a fine sizer. It's a pretty good fish. How you doing, buddy? Love you. Go get big. Go become the monster we know you can. Love you. Watch that one there in the middle. I think that's getting ready to catch another fish. Acting like he wants it. His name must be Mikey. you a kiss. Go become the giant we know you can be. I love you. This one is fighting weird. This one acts like he wants to go up river. back after I quit crying. I don't know if the camera can see that rod or not. It's getting ready to getting ready to get her done. I don't know what that fish was I lost a minute ago, but it was a big fish. I'm not gonna guarantee it was a catfish though. There's a lot of spoonbill swimming up through here right now. They're on their spawning run. And it's not that far up river from here to the dam. Stacked in here like cordwood, and uh, that was a big fish, and it didn't fight much like a catfish. It took off. It was running upriver when I hooked him. So I'm not going to guarantee say it wasn't a catfish. I mean, it might have been a state record, but I don't think so. I think it was probably a spoonbill. That's what I'm going to tell myself so I don't have to cry. But anyhow, and I guess this guy here changed his mind. Right here in the middle. video 
video's gonna get put together. And I know I said this in the, the, at least the first part of the video from the other day when I didn't get any time to fish, but these are Edgar rods. They're Cody Van Atten Signature Series rods. Cody's bait and tackle is right here in Warsaw, Missouri. It's by the damn access road in Seven Highway. Can't miss it. We got a great big sign. He's got a fully stocked store. He's also got a guide business. He's the King Koopa of, of fishing guides. If you want a guide service, call Cody's bait and tackle. Um, he, Cody also currently has a catfish tournament running for uh, Truman Lake and Lake of the Ozarks only. The biggest fish caught on the Cody Manhattan Signature Series Edgar Rod wins $1,000 at the end of the year. $1,000 for first place. So I highly recommend if you like catfishing, if you think you got what it takes, run on down here to Cody's and buy you a Cody Van Atten Signature Series rod. I tell you, I plan to win that tournament, but I'm also gonna tell you, that if you got bait in the water, it's not impossible. I'm actually nobody special catfishing, but I tell you now, if you got bait in the water, you got a chance because you never know until you throw, according to Catfish Dave. <laughs> Catfish Dave, Kayak Catfish, uh, Steve Douglas, um, the Catfish Dude, Steve Douglas. Uh, I can't think of his name, oh my goodness. Fishes the Tennessee River, him and his boy, a lot. I'll think of it in a minute. I'll give him a shout out. Catfish and carp. Those are all guys I watch on YouTube. I take tips and tricks from them. They work. They're all excellent fishermen. And uh, they catch a lot of fish. I don't stand a chance against those guys. Fish, they fish in a lot better waters than we've got. But you know, I do okay for what we've got. We've got a colder climate than they've got. We've got a uh, not as big of a river system, not as big of a lake. They've got, we, we've got a lot of pressure on our fish all the time. But we've got a pretty good conservation department in the state of Missouri, so they do a pretty good job, I think. You know, but you don't, it's not, you don't go too far north of here. You can't catch blue cats anymore because the climate's too cold. You just start catching good ones, you know, where we're at. You get down south, Alabama, Mississippi, Arkansas, Texas, Florida, you know, South Carolina, Tennessee. They get big, real big, and a lot of them. But uh, anyway, yep. I plan to uh, try to start this YouTube channel and I will map out, map, you know, Lake of the Ozarks, Truman Lake, and I'll go to different spots and I'll see I'll give my opinion on every spot and I'll mark the spots that I'm fishing in and stuff like that, you know. Everybody can come try to catch them. But you guys got to make me a promise. If I show you how to catch them and if I show you how to gear for them and I show you where they're at, don't abuse it. These big fish, we need to throw them back in the water. When you eat fish, you eat fish one bite at a time. Them little fish I've been catching, one bite at a time. You eat enough bites, you're not hungry anymore, you had fish. Those big fish have big fish DNA. And when they breed, their babies then have big fish DNA. And if we want the big fish in our waters, we're gonna have to take care of them. And there's a lot of people fishing for catfish nowadays. There's a lot of tournaments. There's a lot of trot lines, a lot of jug liners. I don't know that commercial fishing's too bad here in Missouri. I know they do it, but I don't, you know, the pay lakes aren't running us over like they are in Ohio and stuff like that. But just, I, I'm gonna do this, but you, you guys make me a promise with yourself that you won't abuse it and you'll take care of our waters. I love fishing and I love our catfish and I would never want anything to happen to put that in jeopardy. All right, thanks. Talk to you later.